Jake Gyllenhaal is known for his versatile acting ability. Having appeared in a range of films, including dramas, comedies, and action films, he is also known for his charming and charismatic personality, which has made him popular among audiences and fans. Additionally, his good looks have also been a factor in his appeal, as physical appearance is often a factor in attraction. It's the same reason why a lot of female Hollywood celebrities are seen thirsting over Jake Gyllenhaal. Now, if you are wondering as to who these celebrities are, then you are at the right place, because today we are going to talk about the celebrities thirsting over Jake Gyllenhaal. So without further ado, let's get right into it. 1. Kelly Ripa Famous TV personality, host, and actress, Kelly Ripa was just out of control seeing Jake Gyllenhaal on her show. She couldn't believe Jake was there in front of her in flesh and blood, and therefore was badly thirsting over him. She said, You feel as good as you look, like a fine cashmere sweater. You are a human cashmere sweater. Good as you look, like a fine cashmere sweater. <laughs> you are a human cashmere sweater now. She even went on to read a letter that said to marry Jake and divorce her current husband. And Kelly said that she was not discrediting this letter and was open to the suggestion. Jokingly or not, this is extreme level thirsting. You should divorce your husband, Mark Consuelos, and marry Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> now, I am not discounting this letter at all. I just want to put that out there. He has never been married. At 39, it is hard to believe that this Hollywood hunk has never been married and does not have any kids. Gyllenhaal has dated a couple of A-listers in the past, like Kirsten Dunst, Reese Witherspoon, Alyssa Miller, and Taylor Swift. However, he never got married to any of them. Maybe they were all not right for him. Hopefully, his current girlfriend, Jeannie Cadieu, will be the one to make him walk down the aisle. 2. Anne Hathaway American actress, model, philanthropist, and recipient of two Academy Awards and once the highest paid actress in the world, Anne Hathaway has a bit of a thirsty moment with fellow co-star Jake Gyllenhaal in one of the promotional interviews of their film Love and Other Drugs. When asked what their favorite romantic movies were, she got a little too close to Jake, and he just couldn't do a thing but to tell her that she was getting a bit too close to him, and then laughed. Here, take a look at it. Romantic movie. We're getting so close right now. I know. Like, I'm like, oh, what's your favorite romantic movie? Our, our favorite movie. Um... Hall's parents were very protective of him. Probably they did not want him missing his childhood. He was allowed to audition for roles, but forbidden from taking them if he was chosen. One specific incident is when he got a part in the 1992 film The Mighty Ducks, but because he had to leave home for two months, his parents did not allow him to take the role. As a child, he did not have permission to appear in his father's films either. 3. Jennifer Aniston now, you might be surprised to see Jennifer Aniston on this list, because if you are a Jake Gyllenhaal fan, then you know that Jake's crush was Jennifer once. But during an interview, Jennifer Aniston was told about this, and she was surprised to hear it. She said that, I just don't know why we are finding this out now. She further went on to say that she wants to know if he still has a crush over her. Well, we can't say for sure, but Jake has definitely got Jennifer thinking. You were just like his all-time crush. Had it bad for you. Well, I just don't know why we're finding this out now. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> when things have changed. I mean... It took years before Gyllenhaal unveiled his singing talent. His theatrical debut was in 2002 in the revival play This Is Our Youth at the Garrick Theatre in London. However, it is not until he did his first Broadway musical, Sunday in the Park with George, that we knew he was not just a talented actor, but a singer as well. 4. Saoirse Ronan Famous Irish-American actress, model, and star of the show Lady Bird, Saoirse Ronan had a little thirsty moment on Jake Gyllenhaal. It was during The Ellen Show when Saoirse was playing the game called Would You Rather, where she had to pick between two male celebrities based on who she would date. Now, she was taking too much time to choose, and Ellen was getting frustrated by it. But then when Jake Gyllenhaal came onto the screen, she immediately chose Jake. And Ellen was also surprised by it. Zach or Jake Gyllenhaal? Wow, that was quick. You, you well, just said how, mix it up you said how is, fun Zach has gone on for so long. <laughs> Before legendary actor Paul Newman passed away, he was a cool godfather to Jake. 
His godmother is also equally famous, as she is none other than actress Jamie Lee Curtis. Gyllenhaal also gets to play a celebrity godfather to his goddaughter Melissa Rose Ledger, daughter of Heath Ledger and Michelle Williams, both of whom were former co-stars of Jake. After her father Heath died three years after she was born, Jake had to step up his godfather role. 5. Ellen DeGeneres Famous TV personality, actress, model, and host of the late-night show The Ellen Show, Ellen Generous is known for flirting with her guests, and people are not really surprised if she did it with anyone from the showbiz industry. The same thing happened with Jake Gyllenhaal when he was on the show and talking about the first date experience, and how she would always bring his first dates to his mother's house. During that conversation, Ellen started to appreciate Jake, saying that, You are such an amazing actor, and you choose such diverse roles and your body is insanely good. Well, it looks like somebody's been watching Jake very closely. Such an amazing actor, and you choose such uh, uh, diverse roles, and that you were a nightcrawler, and you had lost all that weight because you wanted to be coyote-like, and in Southpaw, you're a boxer, and your body is insanely good. Um, and now you're doing... Uh... Gyllenhaal almost played the role of Spider-Man for the 2004's Spider-Man 2 when Tobey Maguire suffered a back injury on the set. Gyllenhaal was ready to fill in for Maguire. Unfortunately for him, Maguire made full recovery. At least he got a chance to play a supervillain, Mysterio, in the 2019 film Spider-Man Far From Home. Jake and Toby resemble each other. Fans even confused him for Spider-Man. This was way before Tom Holland took over the role. Now if you like this video, then please like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss out on any video. See you in the next one.